Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and this one is on things not to do um, prior to your surgery. So as you guys know, you do have to go to like a bariatric class about hmm, two weeks before you actually have your surgery. Um, and that bariatric class lasts uh, maybe an hour depending on who your dietitian is. Anyway. So in that class, they are going to give you da -da -da, a whole binder of information um, that tells you everything you will need to know prior to surgery and following surgery, after surgery. And if you notice, I'm going to open up this little book for you guys and just flip through like a couple pages. You know, it's like, I don't know. Maybe 20 pages total because, of course, you can learn everything there is to know about bariatrics in this little bitty binder that has maybe 20 pages in it. You know, it'll just tell you everything. Anyway, so, yeah, like, for example, it has stuff like preparing for surgery. Oh, looky there. It's only two pages. Um, surgery and immediate post-operative care. Look at that. It's only one page. Um, going home. Hmm, looky there. Three pages. Hmm, interesting. Um, maintaining your diet, what to eat after surgery, nutrition resources, physical activity, and general information. Like I said, everything you need to know. Anyway... <laughs> So let's get started with the things that they tell you you will need while you're in the hospital. And like, if you're anything like me, you will want to prepare. So I'll get back to that. When you're in class, they do tell you um, two things. One is that after your surgery, it is very important that you get on some type of birth control. Why? That is because you become like extremely fertile after this surgery. Like there are people who actually have this surgery just so that they can have kids. Which, you know, if you ask me, that's just kind of stupid because like, why would you lose all this weight just to get fat again? But that's just me. Um, and then on top of that, they tell you not to buy a bunch of things that are in the book um, in large amounts because you don't know what it is that you'll like and so if you buy large amounts of course you know you might not like it and then you'll have like a whole supply of it so they tell you not to do that yeah but if you're anything like me I like to be prepared I would much rather have too much of something than not enough of something so of course I went and bought everything. Um, but before I get to that, let's just go over some of the things they tell you. Oh, I forgot about this. Some of the things they tell you to bring with you to the hospital. Okay, well, first off, they give you this soap in these directions. Yeah. And the directions say something like, oh, in this little kit, there's three soapies. And you should use one every day, two days prior to surgery and one the day of the surgery. Yeah. Anyway, so these are the packages that the little soaps come in. Um, ooh, they actually smell kind of kind of good. You know, like some dial. If y'all ever like smell dial, dial, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it smells like. Oh, and it's squishy. I thought it was gonna be like a hard soap. It's not. It's like a. I guess like a spongy. Oh, it is. It's a sponge. Whoa. All right, you guys. You can call me in the middle of my video. So it's like um a sponge, and I guess there's soap on the sponge. I don't want to open it because um and find out because uh, yeah, this is like a sponge because um like I said. It's to be so sorry, you guys. Like people don't understand trying to do something right now um yeah because I don't want to open it right now because like I said you're supposed to use these once a day two days prior to surgery and then one the day of surgery so they give you three of those and then 
for the hospital. They tell you to bring things. A fresh pair of underwears. Oh, looky. Then you only need one pair because you're only going to be in the hospital overnight. Unless, of course, something is wrong. So, like I said, I'd rather have too much of something and not enough. So, I brought a three pack. And I'm going to go to the hospital on that. Then they tell you to bring something comfortable to wear in. So, I went out and I bought this long shirt. You know why? Because, one, I don't want anything pressing against my stomach. Because I'm not sure how the stitches will feel. So, I didn't want to get any pants. So, I decided to get this really long like little cutie shirt or whatever that I'm aware. Um, a few other things that you might want is some Vaseline because your lips, from what I understand, are going to be extremely dry and you'll definitely want that. Now, this is something I heard about one here actually, and that is nausea. Nausea, according to my physician and the dietitians and everyone there, is one of the main or most common side effects after the surgery and I was actually told that if you get alcohol prep pads or you know alcohol pads and you're feeling nauseous you just take one of these and believe it or not all you got to do is like you know smell it now I'm not sure you're supposed to open it or not yet but I think you're supposed to open it and the alcohol smell kind of like stops the nausea from coming up or whatever. It makes it helps the nausea go away. So I have those just in case that myth is true. And this video is going to be kind of lengthy, y'all. Um, of course, some socks. You're going to need some socks because they don't want you walking around the hospital without any socks on your feet. Yeah, so that makes sense. Um, okay, everybody talks about this too. This is going to be your bestest friend. It's Gas X Extra Strength. This box is open already because I've actually been using these already. So, yeah. This is going to be your best friend according to everyone. And, and that's because you're going to have gas. Like, you know, they blow up your stomach for the surgery. So, you're going to have a lot of gas. Um, and these are chewables because they used to have the strips. And I cannot find them anywhere. Like, I've Googled them. I've uh, YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry. Not YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I Googled them. I Ebayed them. I Amazon them. I looked in all the stores, all the pharmacies, CVS, Walgreens, Friday. Like, I cannot find the strips. So, I was stuck with these chewables, which I've actually taken some. And they're not that bad. They actually kind of sort of dissolve in your mouth. Like, you take, like, two chews and they kind of... So, that's... They dissolve in your mouth, but... This is something that you should have because from what I understand, that gas is horrible. If you've ever even had gas before, you already know it's horrible. So you want to make sure that you have something that is going to help you relieve those symptoms. Um, what else did I pack in here? Baby oil cream. Oh, that's just because they tell you to wash before the surgery and you're not supposed to put any, you know, lotions, perfumes, dyes, none of that stuff on. And... I don't know about y'all, but my skin gets pretty dry after I use some soap. So this is some lotion that I plan to use as soon as I wake up. Um, oh, and of course, some um, like refreshing wipes or whatever. Well, anyway, some refreshing wipes. It doesn't matter what brand or what kind. As you can see, I got the little store brand or whatever. So, and I've been using these two because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use... A whole pack in like one night but this is like in case my face <laughs> in case my face doesn't feel like it's clean or whatever and I just you know will take a wipe and you know what well, kind of clean my face and of course use my little baby oil lotion <clears throat> other than that only thing I have uh, uh, only other thing I have in here is my charger and a little bitty stick of deodorant you know but like I said I'd rather be have too many things than not enough all right, so let's put all that back in my little bag because they do give you this bag, this nice size bag at your uh, doctor's office um, when you come in for like your uh, EKG or whatever. They give you this bag. And they're like, oh, you can keep it. And you're like, oh, yay. Um, so let's just move that over there. Okay, on to the things that you are not supposed to buy in bulk. And since I'm rebellious, sorry guys, I decided to buy them anyway. 
and my mom has already had the surgery and she's like oh no you shouldn't have bought all that stuff oh my goodness like you're not even going to use it I mean I, you know I went through this and it was like you're not going to use all that stuff blah, blah, blah. anyway so she didn't have everything she needed like there were some things that she was missing she did have some things um and then when she tried them she didn't like them so then like but she didn't have other options because she didn't buy like a whole bunch of stuff because that's that is what they tell you don't buy a whole bunch of stuff but you know what i did anyway so <clears throat> the crap that they tell you are not crap i'm sorry the things that they tell you in this book that is going to be your best friend after your surgery is let me give you some examples like i went out and brought Ugh, if I can lift it, a whole case of Powerade Zero, and I think on it it says Zero Sugar Sports Drink. Did you guys hear me? Zero Sugar Sports Drink. Hmm. To me, oh, and this one has like all the different flavors, like I think red, blue, and purple. I have no idea how they taste because I haven't tasted them. Ugh, and do you know why? And that came in a huge case. Do you know why I haven't tasted them? Because it says zero sugar. And I don't know about you guys, but zero sugar is just like flavor, colored water to me um, with no flavor. Okay, so on top of that, because I brought so many bottles because they do want you to try to get in 64 fluid ounces. 64 fluid ounces, 40 grams of protein. Whatever those 40 grams of protein fluid ounces include, you can include those fluid ounces in your 64. So, let me get to that. This is called <sighs> protein. P, I mean, protein to zero. I mean, well, to all. And this is protein infused water. It has... 15 grams of protein, zero sugar, 60 calories, and one gram of carbs. Wow. And this one, of course, has three. Oh, no, it doesn't have three different flavors. What the? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, you guys. I was about to say, I know I brought these, but they have three different colors. Purple. I guess that's like a lemonade or something. And I guess that's like a orange. Yeah, so we got grape, lemon, and orange. So we'll just use this as an example. Say you need protein. This one has 15 grams of protein. And each one is, each one is, you know what? It doesn't even say. But let's just say this is like, I don't know, eight ounces, even though you're only getting 15 grams of protein. Um, you can use those eight ounces towards your 64. Y'all get it. <clears throat> So those are just like my water-based um, juices or whatever drinks. And then I was like, well, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to drink a lot of liquid. You know, they, you know those like medicine cups that they give in children's like Tylenol, ibuprofen and stuff. So they give you those like in the hospital and you know how like the second line or like, you know, how they have like the first line, the second line. And then the third line, fourth line, whatever. So, like, they just want you to drink to the second line. Like, they'll fill up that little bitty cup to the second line. And they'll be like, yes, drink that. And that'll fill you up. And you're like, uh, you do know that's only to the second line. Anyway, so, because you're not going to be able to drink a lot, I thought to myself, you know what? Let me see if I can get a drink that has high protein so that I will get my protein in because they explained to me that that is very important. You will need to get your protein in as much as you can. You probably won't be able to get in a lot at first, but you need to try to get in 40 grams. You start out with 20 and work your way up to 40. Okay? So I was like, well, you know what? Let me see if I can find a drink that has like a lot of protein in it. And so I went and got the muscle milk. Oh my goodness, 25 grams of protein. So 25 is semi close to 40 in my head. I'm like, okay, if I drink one of these or like one and a half, that'll be good or whatever. So I brought this. And of course, like I said, this one is a 12 pack. 12 pack 
muscle milk and I got chocolate because I don't really too much care for vanilla and they did not have my favorite which is strawberry so that was disappointing um oh this one says 11 fluid ounces so you get 25 grams of protein and it's 11 fluid ounces so instead of 64 grams you're only going to need to get like 49 I don't know I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm a math whiz or whatever even though that's probably simple math or whatever that's not the point of this video uh, so that's muscle milk now this is one that they actually recommend well muscle milk is too you know but this is one that they actually recommend this one is way expensive um but this one is 30 grams of protein and it is 12 to 11 or 11 and 12 fluid ounces um Actually, it says like 132 fluid ounces, but I think I'm reading that wrong. So, yeah. Oh, that's all together. Duh. So, one, <laughs> one container is like 12 fluid ounces. And you get 30 grams of protein. So, that means you're only missing like 10. Which, to me, is better than, you know, not drinking enough protein at all. So, I would be okay with drinking just like one of these a day. Even though, according to my mother, <sighs> that's not going to happen. She was like, one, you're not going to be able to drink that much. And even if you do, you're going to have to, like, you'll be, like, having it come out your nose because you're going to be so sick of it. Like, you'll get tired of drinking it. And she's probably right. I probably will be like, oh, I'm so sick of drinking this stinky protein drinks. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah. uh, that's the Premier Protein. I got that one in chocolate and strawberry. And like I said, it was really expensive. Okay. So... That's like week one. Matter of fact, let me see if I can show you guys maintaining your diet. Is this where I found it from? Yeah. So it tells you like there's six weeks basically. Your first week lasts one week. Or phase one lasts one week. And phase one is liquids. Water. Those Powerade. Zero sugar. Ugh drinks <laughs> um liquids uh you can have like broth chicken broth beef broth liquids for one week and that's stage one stage two is like puree foods so you can have like grits and like what else is there i'm sorry you guys it's like they tell you everything you can have and i wrote it down because i didn't feel like I'm gonna go through this book to find it again but anyway so yeah it's like grits and stuff or whatever because I can't find it right now oh that's all medication and stuff but it's like grits and eggs and you know what's good about this book this book tells you basically here we go this book tells you pretty much like how you can do it so okay I don't know if you guys can wait well that's stage two but like you see they have the postponed meals. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it has like different stages and stuff. Anyway, so stage one is like water. So like they'll say 8 a.m. drink 8 ounces of water, 9 p.m. do a protein shake, um, about 8 ounces, 10, 8 ounces of water, 11, eight ounces of chicken broth 12 so like each hour you know they're pretty much breaking it down then after 12 they skip two hours <clears throat> instead of every hour so like from 12 to 2 you're pretty much taking a break and then at 2 they want you to like eat four ounces of jello or something which i actually went out and brought me some jello but here's the kicker it's not just any jello of course it's not what do you mean it's sugar free of course it's sugar free you are now a bariatric patient. Shh. I'm making a video. Anyway. So, yeah. I went out and brought me some Jello, And they have different flavors. But I was like, maybe maybe this one won't be, like, terribly horrible. So, yeah. I got me some Jello because I don't really too much care for, like, I don't drink Crystal Light or whatever. So, yeah. And that's the only thing, like, that I see um or like you can get decaffeinated or unsweetened coffee decaffeinated unsweet tea sugar-free gelatin sugar-free popsicles water ice broth 
Crystal Light, Sugar Free Kool Aid, Diet V8 Splash, and Diet Snapple. So, go. Um, anyway, so that's your stage one. That only lasts one week. Then you have stage two, which are full liquids. Um, and that lasts for two weeks. Because all together they're six, like I said. So stage two, two weeks. And they include things like cream soups, milk, sugar-free pudding, yogurt, of course, no sugar added, um, mashed potatoes, cream of wheat, oatmeal, grits, and unsweetened, unsweetened applesauce. So... I'm guessing the oatmeal is unsweet as well, which means it's probably just plain, grainy applesauce. I mean, oatmeal. Yeah. So, definitely probably looking forward to that. Anyway, so, oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all probably cannot see this, but I circled it. And they told us that we could have butter. So, I was like, oh my god. We can have butter. Like, yes, finally, something that won't make this so difficult. You know, butter adds flavor. Like, you throw you some butter in the grits, you throw you some butter with those eggs, or, you know, just ugh, butter. <sighs> so I was so happy. And on here, it was like, yeah, just get you some Molly McButter and Butter Buds. So I go to the store and I'm in the butter section, the little cooler butter section. I'm like, I cannot find these butter buds and this Molly McButter or whatever. And so I went to ask a person um, where it was. <sighs> he goes to the seasoning section. All I can say is this next part is very, very hard. Because he came back with this. That's butter. Molly McButter. Butter flavored sprinkles. Not even real butter. And it's fat free. And it's only five calories, which is a good thing, but yeah. You just sprinkle it on your food, I guess. I got it. Hopefully it'll taste good. And I actually got the butter buds because they're in a container too. <sighs> Natural butter flavored granules. No fat, no cholesterol. All the things that make it so delicious. <sighs> like I said, it's just sad. Anyway, so yeah. I was so excited about that, you guys. And got so disappointed when I saw it was freaking powder. But, you know, hey, maybe maybe it'll be good. I don't know. I'm going to try it anyway just because, you know, this is something I can try. So, when I make my grits, I'm going to put that butter on there. Even though it is powder. And I'm going to just, you know, have a <laughs> a wish grit. If you know what that is, you wish you had some real butter on your grits. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, stage two, you can have, like, stuff like that. Yogurt, vanilla yogurt. No sugar added, of course. Um, unsweet tea, unsweet alcohol. I mean, unsweet applesauce <laughs> chicken broth water you know all that stuff milk it has to be skin milk or one percent so yeah i'm used to drinking whole milk so that's gonna be a big change um like i said the yogurt is oh pudding the sugar-free pudding these are all things that you can have in stage two so my yogurt i brought is Wacos triple zero. I should have known when it said triple zero that it meant something horrible because triple zero means zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, and zero percent fat. So, what is it? Just something gooey in your mouth that has like a fake strawberry taste i don't know but it is 15 grams of protein so that can go towards your 40. um anyway sorry you guys this video is so lengthy i just i'm just trying to cover everything um so yeah that was my yogurt um did i buy pudding no i didn't oh but i did buy like 
the beef broth I didn't show you guys I brought like <laughs> the chicken broth <laughs> and I did buy the um the beef broth or whatever that was in stage one I forgot to show you guys this but like I said it can be any kind I got the little cheap store brand kind and you know what guys actually I brought all this stuff and it was like less than fifty dollars so I brought like a whole month supply of food for a bariatric person and it was like less than fifty dollars and the reason I brought it like this is because I only shop once a month so I went ahead and I looked at all the stages and I kind of sort of was just making sure that I had everything for each stage even though each stage is different first one's one week second one's two weeks third one's three weeks or whatever um, so that equals six weeks all together um I'll just put these back over here let's see mashed potatoes cream of wheat grits I did buy grits which it's just the original little packages um, because one they didn't have my big bag which is what I usually use and I figured this would be more um, convenient anyway because they're like little packages or whatever hmm. then I'm gonna try to add my my butter anyway so yeah there's that <clears throat> um, unsweetened applesauce mmm plain bitter apples yeah I don't know if you ever had an apple that you bit into and it was not sweet at all. It was just like sour and yeah. So I've never tried unsweetened applesauce. I have actually haven't tried none of this stuff. So who knows? I have no idea if I like it. I have no idea if I will not like it. Um, they do tell you that your taste change after the surgery. So we'll see. <clears throat> Okay, so I think that is everything in stage two. Stage three, which is, so you will be three weeks out. This will be your fourth week, starting your fourth week. You can have canned tuna. Finally, finally, something good. Besides grits and oatmeal. Which, speaking of which, y'all, it didn't say in the book, you know, oatmeal unsweetened or oatmeal, even though common sense would probably tell you. But since it just said oatmeal, I went and brought I guess, strawberries and cream. And in my head, I was like, oh my gosh, they finally got something sweet for us. We can finally eat like some something good. And then I found out that the oatmeal is just basic plain brand oatmeal. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to eat this before my surgery because I really like strawberries. So I'm going to eat this since I can't eat it after the surgery or whatever. At least not right away. Um, so yeah, you can eat canned tuna, chicken, salmon packed in water. I guess that would be chicken packed in water. Salmon packed in water? Does salmon come packed in water? I don't know. But it says like canned tuna hyphen chicken hyphen <laughs> salmon. And then it got like a, those little bracket things packed in water. Um, anyway, so yeah, I brought me some tuna. And you know what goes with tuna? Mayonnaise. And you can have mayonnaise, but guess what kind of mayonnaise? Light. And I like Dukes. Dukes is the brand that I like. I've always liked Dukes. I was not about to switch up on Dukes. You don't have to get Dukes. You can get whatever kind of mayonnaise you like as long as it says light. And do you know why? Because it has half the fat, half the calories of regular mayonnaise. You know what that means? Half the taste is gone. Again. Sad. um yeah so you can have that um you can have this is when you can start eating like cottage cheese low fat cheeses which i brought the little sticks because i do happen to like cheese but of course it says like and again why does it say like 50 percent less fat 25 percent fewer calories wow so i don't know what kind of cheese this is going to taste like but and they didn't have a bag smaller than this because trust me, I would have brought a small bag because, you know, it's cheese. But, you know, just in case, I might like it. I don't know, but I bought it. Because like I said, you guys, I was buying for the whole month. Um, What else did they say? Low-fat cheeses, eggs, scrambled or hard-boiled, which is good because I like scrambled eggs. Like, yeah. Um, 
low fat refried beans i did not get that okay now this says canned fruit no syrup so i brought oh my god you know what you guys i just realized well i brought pineapple chunks and it does it's not syrup it's actually in 100 percent pineapple juice so there's no syrup it's just in juice which i'm gonna just be honest with you guys I have no idea if juice and syrup are the same thing. I don't think they are, but I, I don't know. So I brought this and I'm going to ask them about it um, because I have a you have a pre-op appointment the day before your surgery with your actual physician one more time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to ask them about this. But you know what, you guys, I just realized I messed up again because I went and brought <laughs> mandarin oranges and I just... I just seen that it says canned fruit. This is not canned. And I was like, it says no sugar added. So I was like, oh, well, you know what? I can, you know, try to enjoy these no sugar oranges, um, mandarin oranges or whatever. But I just realized that it said canned. This isn't canned. So again, that's going to go with the strawberries and cream oatmeal that will have to get demolished before my actual surgery. Um yeah canned fruit no sugar added applesauce again of course and then canned or soft cooked vegetables no bread no cereal no rice no pasta no crackers during this stage hmm. and that's the only stages that they have after six weeks you should have a your stomach should be pretty healed up is what my physician told me it's like after six weeks you're good to go it's just like a pregnancy i guess you know six weeks you're good now that does not mean go out and eat like all type of sweets and stuff because if you've been following like other YouTubers, they will tell you, you know, you eat sweets and you will develop dumping syndrome. Dumping syndrome sounds to me like you will be, I guess, like having a load of poop, you know, coming out your, your bone hole like all day. So I don't know if you guys want that. And then, you know... You'll probably throw up a couple times. If you throw up, don't be afraid. You know, just try to keep drinking your liquids and make sure you have your vitamins, which vitamins are extremely important. You guys, make sure you have your vitamins, okay? Um, And make sure you measure your food. So, speaking of measurements, they actually have that in here as well. So, yeah, maybe this book is kind of, like, informative. Wow. Anyway, so, like... When it says things like two ounces, four ounces, it turns out that two ounces is actually one fourth of a cup. So that'll equal two tablespoons. So it's like, okay, well, eat two ounces at 8 a.m. or drink two ounces at 8 a.m. Um, you would only have to drink like one fourth of a cup. Um, four ounces equals one half of a cup, and that's eight tablespoons. Um, that's basically it. Like. Most of the things that they tell you are eight ounces or four ounces. So, yeah, eight ounces, four ounces. Like now, when it comes to the food in stage two, they might say two ounces. Like the grits, it says two ounces. The yogurt, two ounces. The applesauce, two ounces. So, when it comes to the more puree foods, they kind of go down to two ounces. But when it's come to the liquids, it's like eight ounces, four ounces, you know. So, um, yeah, that's all I see. I don't see six ounces or anything anywhere. Um, like I said, it does say 40 grams of protein, 64 ounces of fluid. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, you guys, that's pretty much my video. Um, I am so sorry it took so long, but I just wanted to explain to you guys what not to do. I mean, I know I did it because like I said, I would rather be prepared than unprepared. And I wanted to make sure I had things for each stage since I'm not planning to shop again until next month. Today is December the eighth ninth um i don't know somewhere in december um <laughs> i think today's the eighth yeah i'm just saying um because my surgery is next week on thursday the 13th um because i don't know if i told you guys the correct date last time but it is december 13th um they did tell me my surgery is scheduled for 8 45 and that i need to be there at 7 30 so i can get all checked in and everything um yeah, they tell you not to wear any jewelry, any piercings, take out contact lenses. Um, don't come in there with any like wig, uh, like wigs or like um, 
lace fronts or anything like that. Um, so basically, you're coming in there like a newborn baby. I mean, they take away everything. They like strip you like you want to jail or something. Only difference is they don't tell you to turn your head and cough. Anyway, so yeah. That is my video. I hope I informed you guys on what not to do. I did it, but you don't do this. I am pretty sure my mother is 100% correct in that when I try these water flavored, not even flavored, colored waters, I'm probably going to not like them. I'm hoping that my mind will adjust and I'll turn out to like them in the end. I don't know, but it's something that I'll always have to drink anyway, so I am. I'm going to have it. I mean, I'll eventually either tell myself like it or I'll give it to somebody else. I don't know. But anyway, so that's my video. Thank you guys for watching. I plan to make another one, like I said, um, the day of my surgery, after my surgery, if I am able to, as soon as I wake up, like I said, I will definitely keep you guys informed on how I'm feeling, you know, what's going on as far as the stitches are concerned, anything, everything. Um, other than that, you guys, I am a little nervous. It's like I was totally excited and then they gave me my date. And I'm like, wait, it's here already? Like it took forever. It seems like it took forever. Like, like for some reason, it just seemed like those six months, seven months, eight months was like almost a whole year. So it just seemed like it took forever and then they gave me my date and now I'm just like, oh my God you know oh my god like oh my god like oh my god this this is happening um so yeah my feelings right now are I, I i know this is a healthy choice for my life but i also know that this is a major surgery and you know it can be life-threatening like people do die you know but if you think about it i mean if you're going to die the best place would be at a hospital, you know, so they can at least try and bring you back. Um, so that's a positive thing, I guess. Um, yeah, but like I'm really, like I'm really kind of scared, but I'm excited. So my mom's going to be there with me. She already went through this, like I said, and you know, she's doing pretty good now. I think she's about six or seven months out and she's, she's looking good. Like she's looking really good. Um, but she's hard headed, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So yeah other than that you guys i guess i will see you next week after my surgery bye thanks for watching sorry you guys this thing took so long